What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it is 6.58 a.m. We are in Fort Myers, Florida, and today we are starting our trek back to Dallas in the GT500. And for those who have not seen our last video, this is our new 2020 GT500. So we're in Fort Myers, Florida this morning. We're needing to make it back to Dallas, Texas, and the goal is to make it back by tomorrow afternoon. You can see the drive is 1,295 miles, and if we were to do it in one shot, we'd get there at about 12.30 a.m. at night, which honestly isn't that bad. Let's just drive right through. I'd be tempted. No, absolutely not. <laughs> We are roughly three-ish hours. Yeah, about three-ish hours, 200 miles in. We're making actually a really good time, and the car is actually getting a lot better gas mileage than I thought it would. It's getting right about 21 and a half miles to the gallon, which is great because when a sticker says it should only be getting 18, so at least some of, oh my God, the premium is $5.36 here. Woo! For reference, we paid $4 and what, like 83 cents yesterday? Yeah. Now the car only has like, I think still has about a quarter of a tank left, so we're still doing good on fuel, but to limit down our stops, every pee and coffee break is now a gas stop. Fifty-five eighty-three. How much? Fifty-five eighty-three. I actually don't think that's that bad. And it's not even like 93 octane, it's 92. We got chipped on one octane. Now, so far the drive has been, I think, a pleasant surprise. I was definitely concerned about the overall comfort of the car, but so far it's been super, super comfortable, which is something I've been super happy about. What do you mean? You've been asleep this entire time. Not the entire time. I'm pretty sure since we left, you fell asleep like almost as soon as we got on the highway. I've been asleep for about 2.5 <laughs> of the last three hours. <laughs> That's fair. But. I can sleep anywhere and the ability to sleep in this car was actually a real concern that I have and so I have put those concerns to rest. It feels like I'm being cradled while I sleep and it was quite comfortable so good things. I've been loving every minute of it just sitting here. HP has this weird obsession with Publix, and he's been looking forward to a Publix sandwich since he found out that we were going to be going to Florida. I used to go to Publix a lot when I was a kid, and we always used to get Cuban sandwiches and eat them on the beach, and we don't have them in Texas, so anytime I get the opportunity, super excited. It's been at least 10 years. Where's the front of this building? <laughs> Why do you, what? Absolutely. This stair one look a little closer. Maybe a little. <laughs> so we're about five and a half hours into today's drive. We have about six to seven hours to go for today's drive until we're gonna stop at our hotel. The goal is to stop in Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah, and we're fueled up, we're topped off. We're we're in good shape right now. Good shape. Good shape to last six to seven hours. Easy. 
So HP, so far, how does it feel? You've been driving for five hours. You've been driving this entire time. I have not contributed a ton. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's actually really good. I like it a lot. It's really smooth, and whenever you put it in quiet mode when you're on the highway, it just seems like you're driving a normal car. It doesn't seem like you're driving something with as much power as it has. And we're still getting decent gas mileage, right around 21 and a half miles to the gallon, so. Honestly, that's what I'm most impressed with because I've had to take a number of work calls throughout this drive. And unlike HP's Ranger and his old Ford Focus ST, where like you could tell that you were in the car, it was so loud, you couldn't even take calls. With this, I've been able to comfortably like Take calls and nobody even knows I'm on the f in the car. Yeah, I like it a lot. Thank you for the wonderful car. So we've been driving since about seven o'clock this morning. Granted, we have taken our fair share of breaks, but we just now got out of Florida. Finally. Finally. And now we're in... Alabama? I thought we are in Missouri. No, Alabama. Alabama, yeah. The Alabama side sure was underwhelming compared to the Florida side. Yeah, it was. It was like, see you later. Your thanks for visiting Florida. And Alabama was like, all right, come on in. I guess we'll have you. I guess we'll have you. Allow me to play you the song of my people in this tunnel. Mobile, Alabama. We're right in the downtown heart of this little, I guess, Mobile, Alabama square. I couldn't really tell you. So, get some grub before it gets dark and we can't see anything and the car gets blasted with bugs. Yeah. I'm fuller than a fly at a cow patty reserve. I tell you what. Ah. So, we still have about, what, two and a half hours? Yeah, two and a half hours until we are at our hotel for the night. And then once we get to the hotel, we'll still have about six hours tomorrow Oof. until we're home. So I feel like the first half of the day went by a lot quicker than the second half of the day. Yeah. I feel like the first half of the day we were just flying through. And I feel like we've really made slow progress since like two. Nah, that's all right. It's a fun car to drive, so it's not a terrible ride. Could be worse. Could be. It's like they were waiting for us. They left the perfect spot just for me, next to a curb. It's a dream. So it is just past 11.30 p.m. We've made it to the hotel, but we've got to head up to our room, go to sleep, because we have an early morning because we got to make it back to Dallas. So it is 6.55 a.m. And we got to get the hell out of Jackson, Mississippi right now because there's a huge storm coming this way and a storm coming up and through Louisiana. We got to make it back to Dallas, baby. So as of right now, we have 416 miles, six hours and 17 minutes until we are back in Dallas.
16 hours of driving, I'm finally tapping out. Aubrey's taking over for at least a little bit. 30 minutes, can I get that? I'll try my best. <laughs> the uh, camera goes to you. Thank you. Now Aubrey has not driven this car quite yet, so this will be a nice experience for her. Yeah. We thought about having me drive yesterday, but it was dark, and I didn't want my first time driving the GT500 to be in the dark. And it's actually been raining a lot today. We've driven through like two separate storms, and it was pretty dangerous, I'm not gonna lie, but we managed to get through, just kept her straight, put it in slippery mode, and she held up. All right. And then my 4Runner. Mm -hmm. At the next stop sign, turn left. Get on the highway. Get on. Come on. <laughs> Go. Come on. Keep going. I am going. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> Turn for two hundred twenty-one miles. Continue straight. He got a little loose there, and he still managed to I hang on to it. I did not get loose. Come on. we have made it to the great state of Texas. After an hour nap, how do you feel? Ugh, well rested. And it's nice and sunny out, it's like a perfect day. Ah, uh, feels good to be back in Texas. We have approximately two and a half hours until we get home, and I've completed my duty of driving. And I'm ready, let's get home in one and a half hours. I don't know that that's possible. I'll make it possible. One hour later. Are you even in Texas if you don't stop at a Bucky's and get cut off by a Kia Soul? That is adorable, but that's not going to fit me. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, this is not for our kid or a kid we're planning to have. This is for our niece. Did you really go to Bucky's if you didn't get something for your niece? No. <sighs> I have never been more happy to be home. As nice as that drive was, it got long by the end of it. But now, what we've all been waiting for is to say hi to the most important person in the world, our Nikis. Nico! Hello, buddy! Baby boy! Oh, we missed him! No! <laughs> oh, big boy! Hello! I missed you! Where was you? You get some water? All right. You wanna go, hey Nico, you wanna go see the new car? Let's go! So you guys, there you have it about 18 hours, 19 hours in the car, just under 1,300 miles. HP, what are your thoughts on the car after driving it for the last 2.5 days? If there's any drive to solidify how I feel about a car, it was that one, and I feel great about this one. I think Nico kind of likes it too, but man, what an experience being able to drive this car all the way across the country to Christian this relationship, I love it. But you guys stay tuned because we have a lot planned with this GT500. We're also going to be doing some changes and making some adjustments to our Turo fleet. So I know that's something I'm super pumped to talk about here on the channel. And of course, in the next couple of days, we're going to be talking about whether or not this 2020 GT500 will be joining the Turo fleet being rented on the Turo platform. And as always, guys, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next episode.